that uh, scan completed, it found uh, over 100 pieces of malware and it quarantined almost every one of the ones it found. Some of them require a restart. A couple of them. And then it's got some up here it wants to know what I want to do with them. I just want to go ahead and remove this adware. It's uh, it's taking a while to remove this guy. It hasn't terminated any of the fake system alert stuff. That's all live and active, so I'm assuming it doesn't detect it. And it looks like uh, McAfee is not responding. And I'm trying to remove these threats. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and restart and see if it gets rid of the stuff upon restart. Actually, I'm just going to force this uh, virtual machine to shut off. Save some time here. Okay, the PC is starting up right now. Hopefully, we'll start up and won't see any fake alerts and our web browsing will be perfect. Let's hope. Nope. There's anti-spyware master. McAfee does not detect it. PC Privacy Cleaner, McAfee doesn't detect that. System Defender, whatever that is. Um, getting pop-ups without even opening the internet. Fling.com. Uh, PC Privacy Protection is popping up again. Find a flame. No thanks. Um, let's take a look at the processor, see if we have much processing going on. No, looks pretty idle. Uh, McShield is using about 30 megs of RAM, which is normal for it. I can see there's still some Trojans like that. That. There's another one. Um, if I go to the internet, and I'll reset my home page to like Yahoo. what this program is. It's annoying though. It looks halfway legit. I don't think I've ever heard of it, but who knows. PC seems to lock up a lot right now. Uh, here's Anti-Spyware Master popping up.
So, um, I'm having trouble even bringing up the internet here right now. So. Let's just go to Yahoo really quick. And we'll search for something like dating. Just go to Google and do a search for antivirus. Web browsing seems okay. Now let's go try to go to the McAfee site. Nope. Redirection to stop Zilla. Uh, VBS.TV. What are these guys? Why are they paying for malvertised stuff? Hmm. It's a good looking site. <laughs> anyway, these guys right here are definitely paying to be advertised through um, through malware. Those are the guys paying for it. So I can't even go to McAfee's site. Uh, let's try to go to uh, AVG. Redirection. K-directory. Anyway, I find McAfee to be sucky. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really get rid of any of the rogue stuff, any of the fake stuff. Got rid of some of the alerts. It doesn't do anything to clean up my internet connection, my browsing experience. Uh, I can't really go anywhere when I'm inside Google. Yahoo seems pretty much unaffected. But anytime I try to go to a site in Google, I get redirected. Um, looking at the task manager, there's all kinds of bad processes still running here. And then now I'm getting the Trojan pop-ups again right here. The Virtual Monday pop-ups. More pop-ups. So if I bought McAfee, I would be really pissed. Anyway, that's my opinion. I think it sucks. Sorry to say. Hopefully somebody there sees this video and does something about it. It's got a good long name. Been around forever, but they need to do something about all of this constant adware. And Trojan downloaders, too. I mean, there's obviously still on, some still on here. We just got two pop-ups from something uh, being installed. So, anyway, that's uh, my review, McAfee. On to something else. I don't know. Maybe I'll take votes on what I should do next. Talk to you guys later.